Hey you guys, Philly, Philly up. I slept in today, okay? We slept until six. <laughs> anyway, so I'm having a conversation with my dude and I'm talking about this whole story of mine, right? And I and I told him how like uh, years ago when I was in that house, I said, this feels like pharaohs. Like th these two dudes, like my supposed friend and his father felt like pharaohs. And, and it felt like they had me captive, like Cleopatra, right? And I was getting, I told you guys how I was getting all kinds of shit about Cleopatra popping up on my timeline and stuff. And they said how she killed herself. She had a, a viper bite her. I don't believe that's true. I think that I'm exposing in some crazy way how Cleopatra really died because I've always felt like this was the story of the pharaohs and including my sister being involved in it because her sister went against her. And, and everybody wanted to take her out, okay? So... This is what's happening, I feel like, generally with what we're going through. For those of you who are going through similar situations as myself, and it's like you can't really quite put your finger on it. I feel like, generally speaking, the pharaohs have had rulership since, right, 111, until man created religion and Jesus Christ and that story to deter your attention from the fact that you were all gods and goddesses, okay? So that's what I'm saying for the people who still believe in like Jesus Christ and everything like that. That's all fine and dandy, but eventually your spirit's not going to be happy with that. You're, it's going to feel uncomfortable, kind of like ours was, okay? So there's no judgment here. It's just that uh, you're just on a different level of ascension than a lot of us are, okay? And then there's people who were even higher of a level of ascension than we are. So it's not bragging. It's just the way that this goes. Now, this is the pharaohs losing control and rulership uh, of this planet. The gods and goddesses are waking up and we're taking back control. The pharaohs are spread out, reincarnated uh, through family members, uh, people in power. You know, I mean, just logically, think about it. There's two crows flying right now. There's three. Yeah. So I just wanted to, you know, it's kind of crazy to me because I, uh, I've always thought this. I've always felt like... Cleopatra, like I came back to set some shit straight for my bloodline, okay? 222. Two, two. And my story just resonates. It's like they say the shit, the betrayal, and the deceit, and the setups, and the gang stalking has never changed. It's just the times that changed. They didn't have social media and news and an outlet to talk about what happened to Cleopatra. So it was just like a mystery. I mean, it's like you can only go so far with communication back then. I'm here to say, right, because I didn't kill myself in this lifetime, and I know that I had people trying to tell people that I was suicidal so that they could take me out and then and then take money off my, my death. You feel me? So um, I firmly believe that myself reincarnating back again and as the spirit of Cleopatra, I did not kill myself back then. And that's why it was such a mystery because why would she? She was beautiful. She was smart. She, she, was, she was a leader. She was obviously a Hayoka. Why would she have done that? We can't believe any of the history that they told us. Like I said, everything that we hear is uh, omissions of lies and hidden truths. It's not just with tarot readers and it's, it's not just with people in our personal lives. It's with the media and it's in the history books as well. It's damn sure in that fucking Bible, okay? That is the book that they've altered the most. It was 333 when I said this. Um, so just be careful believing everything that you guys just read in the book. I mean, it sounds insane to me that we would have just believed things that, that we all know that the media is ran and has been and production of any kind of books is ran and it goes through the matrix first. So if there's something that's going to come out, that's going to expose their lies, they're not going to allow it. Okay. And that book, that Bible was publicized and, and distributed, um, during, in hotel rooms, they want you to read it and believe it so much. So just please be uh, logical. It's beautiful out today. I'm grounding this morning because, oh, I want to tell you guys something else because, you know, I'm just, I just want to help you guys on your journey. And I put, I told you I was putting all my phones and devices in a backpack and putting it in the tub because of the RF waves that come off of them, right? Last night, I put tinfoil over my phone because I listened to frequencies through this phone and it's 5G. As much as I didn't want to, I had to get it for the channel. Um... I, put, I listened to this with my speaker on through frequency, so I actually covered it with tinfoil and my dudes with tinfoil last night. When I tell you that I had one of the best nights sleep, between that 
and the plant dying when I turned off the 432 hertz. The radiation is so heavy in the air, you guys. We really need to focus 456 on listening to that 741 hertz on a regular and 432 hertz. I really think that these are going to be like the most important ones right now for keeping us alive. Because uh, I was listening to Dr. Virtual's no consent video the other day and I actually turned the volume up and put a booster on so I could actually hear what the no consents were and the one that stuck out to me was I do not consent to chemotherapy. That is what 5G is basically. It is chemo. It is attacking our organs. It's making us tired. It's making our hair fall out. And this is everybody. It's, it's, it's not spell work making your hair fall out. It's the radiation in the air. So we're basically being treated for, for cancer from, from these people. Do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> and the more we put this message out there, the more people are going to wake up about this. So I'm going to leave it at that. If I feel like I have any more downloads, I'm going to hit you with them. You know, Philly going to keep you updated, okay? I love you guys. We're not going nowhere, though. We came back to take back rulership of this fucking planet. And if your ding-dongs uh, don't want to hop on, then they're going down with the pharaohs. Love you. Tee out.